This video will cover the new edition of the AR import or AR payment import. Uh, so basically it is now possible to import AR receipts into Intact and there's a couple of rules just to take in that or into consideration when doing this as well. Um, so looking at that, most of the payment methods are available. There's a few, so the ACH and the online credit card, it's still exceptions, that's not available at this point. Um, and then you can see some of the, the supported transactions there. One payment applied to multiple custody invoices. We can do multi-currency payments. Make sure that the payments with overpayment balances, and you can also include attachments even. Uh, the template must include unique invoice numbers. So if you import a payment, we need to match it to something. It must be those unique invoice numbers incorporated in that as well. Now things to, to keep in mind, there's no bulk reversal. So ideally what they say there is just because you can doesn't mean you should. So great functionality, but just keep in mind what, what we're importing as well. Now how to access this from within Intact? If you look at accounts receivable, there is the import section. So these are all my summary of my payments. We can do the input from there. And as, as seen previously in some of the other videos, there is now a download template immediately available within this section as well. So it'll give you the format of what that file should need to be in. Now, part of this, you can see there's some rules that they stipulate on the import as well. So just be take note of those. It posts directly to the GL, the amount must balance, always verify the data before import as there's no bulk reversal available uh, just take some note on these maximum number of invoices and maximum number of payments per file as well so that you, you ensure that we know what we what we're importing that's it thanks for watching <laughs>